In our previous video titled Sovereign Wealth Funds and Private Equity, we talked about what sovereign wealth funds are, trends with sovereign wealth funds, and sovereign wealth funds in private equity. We also spent some time talking about GIC, the Sovereign Wealth Fund in Singapore that was established in 1981 to manage Singapore's foreign reserves. GIC invests in private equity both through funds and directly into private companies. In this video, we will talk about three private companies that GIC directly invested in in 2022. We'll talk about the Sani Ecos Group, Cred, and Shepla Pharma. And we'll end the video with a final thought. So let's get started with the Sani Ecos Group. The first GIC direct private equity investment we're talking about in this video. The Sani Ecos Group is a group of luxury resorts in the Mediterranean under the brands Sani Resort and Ecos Resorts. The group currently has resorts across Greece and Spain and plans to expand in both Greece and Spain as well as launch in Portugal. Before the GIC deal, Sani Ecos had investments from funds managed by well-known investors such as Oak Tree Capital Management and Goldman Sachs Asset Management. With the GIC deal, those investors will be selling their stakes to GIC, and GIC will become the leading shareholder alongside the Sani Ecos Group's management team. GIC has been open about its confidence in the Greek and European tourism sector over the long term. So with an investment in Sani Ecos, it looks like GIC found a good way to gain direct exposure to that sector. So let's move on to CRED. CRED is a fintech startup out of India that was reported to recently receive a minority investment from GIC that valued the firm at approximately $6.4 billion. So, what does CRED do? Well, CRED offers its members, people who qualify with a credit score higher than 750, rewards for paying their credit card bills on time. CRED also has various services, including CRED RentPay, which allows members to pay their monthly rent with their credit cards, and CRED Mint, which offers its members the opportunity to earn returns on their money through peer-to-peer -peer lending. CRED makes money through fees and through monetizing data. So how does GIC end up investing in a fintech platform in India? Well, GIC originally started investing in India's public markets back in the 90s, followed by investments in private equity and then real estate and infrastructure. GIC likes India's long-term growth potential, as well as India's easing of foreign investment rules. Now, not only has GIC invested in CRED, but GIC has been pretty active in the fintech space in India. GIC invested alongside Sequoia and other investors into fintech unicorn Razorpay, which allows businesses to accept, process, and disperse payments. And GIC invested alongside CPP Investments and other investors into Paytm, which is the large Indian payment app from the north of India that over the years has received investments from well-known investors such as SoftBank and Warren Buffett. It'll be interesting to follow along GIC's investments in India in the future. Now let's move on to Shepla Farm. GIC, along with Atlantic Park, which is the combined vehicle created by General Atlantic and Iron Park Capital Partners, invested a total of 550 million euros in Shepla Farm. Shepla Farm is a German pharmaceutical company that has grown quite a lot over the years through deals with many known pharmaceutical companies such as Merck, AstraZeneca, and Takeda Pharmaceutical. You remember Takeda Pharmaceutical, the Japanese pharmaceutical company that bought Nycomed in our video titled Nordic Capital? Well, at the end of 2020, Shepla Farm acquired a large number of products from Takeda. With the investment from GIC and Atlantic Park, Shepla Farm plans to 
continued to grow through acquisitions. Now, here's a final thought. We gave examples of how GIC invested directly in resorts in the Mediterranean, fintech companies in India, and a pharmaceutical company in Germany. GIC is able to do this because it has a sizable, knowledgeable team that has the skills and experience to do so. And sometimes, even with its experience, the GIC team would partner with companies to share expertise on the deal, such as with Sequoia and Atlantic Park. Investors, direct investing isn't easy. Do you have a robust team that will ensure you'll succeed? Well, even if you do, it still might be a good idea to partner with other firms or other family offices as you make those direct investments, just like GIC did with Sequoia and Atlantic Park. In this video, we talked about three private companies that GIC directly invested in in 2022. We talked about the Sani Ecos Group, Cred, and Shep Lafarm. Are there other institutional investors that you would like us to dive deep into? If so, please share them in the comments below.